Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, if you uh, have seen my last video, uh, I proved uh, the formula of differentiation by the first principle. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, I would like you to see that first to understand this next video. So we came, we proved in the last video that the gradient at any point for dy by dx is limit, this is how you read, dy by dx is nothing but gradient, okay, so you can say this is your gradient, m uh, at any point, okay, is dy by dx, where dy is an infinitesimally small change in y, and dx is an infinitesimally small change in x, this is how you read limit when h tends to or approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, let me use a thinner pen. Okay, so let me use this thick. Okay. Mm, let me use a brighter color. Okay, we're going to do something very exciting now. So the question is differentiation by the first principle. Now you may have learned formulas like this that uh, if y is equal to x to the power n dy by dx is nx to the power n minus y. Okay, now this formula is no magic. Okay, now this formula has been proved as we have got from this principle. So let me write the n properly. So this is n. So you may have heard the teacher saying, when you want to differentiate, drop the power down. That's you're dropping the power down and decrease the power by one to differentiate any polynomial. So in this case, you should be knowing that dy by dx. In this case, if you have learned calculus a little, you should know the dy by dx is 2x. So now you may be wondering, if you're a student who have been thinking, why do you, why does dy by dx, so y, why does dy by dx of y is equal to x squared is 2x. That's what we're going to prove using this simple principle called uh, the first principle. So the question is differentiate y is equal to x squared by the first principle. Okay, so what's the first principle? Let's write the first principle. So we know that the first principle is dy by dx is equal to limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so instead of y, I'm going to write y is same as, can I write f of x is x squared. Okay, because y can be written as f of x is equal to x squared this and this are the same. I'm going to say, well, let f of x be x squared. So f of x plus h would be x plus h the whole squared. Okay. So let me scroll down. So this you should be knowing is x plus h times x plus h. So if you know perfect square, you should be knowing. So we can rewrite f of x plus h is x squared, x times x is x squared, then you've got an x, hx and an hx, which is 2hx plus x squared. Okay, so let us substitute here. So therefore, can we write dy by dx? Let me scroll up. So dy by dx is equal to, what is my f of x plus h? This is my f of x plus h, which is this. So can I write, I have to write the limit always. So limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h is x squared plus 2hx plus x squared minus, this is your f of x plus h. And what is f of x? x squared. So minus x squared over h. What I've done is this is nothing, if you look at this, this is nothing but f of x plus h, and this is nothing but f of x. I just substituted 
what is f of x plus h and what is f, f of x. So let us go move forward. So scrolling up a little, so dy by dx, therefore dy by dx. You have to write this, limit, limit when h approaches 0 of this. So what gets cancelled? So let me cancel this. So can you understand this x squared and this x squared gets cancelled? So I again scroll, get a thick, thinner pen. So let me use a brown color now. So oh, let me use this color. What was it? Okay, yeah, that's fine. So this is equal to, now you've got x squared plus 2hx plus nothing. Oh, yeah, nothing divided by h. Okay, so what will happen now? Okay, so what has happened? x squared. Am I doing some mistake here? Oh, this is a mistake, sorry. This I didn't write, okay? So it's always good to check. So this is 2h plus h squared, yeah, minus x squared, okay? Always good to check. So this and this gets cancelled. So what has remained is, I'll delete this again. So this is, this is equal to 2hs hx plus h squared over h. So now I can distribute this to both of them. Okay, so can I write the next step like this? This is equal to limit when h approaches 0 of 2hx over h plus h squared over h. Now you may not understand, some of you may not understand what I'm doing. Suppose I'll give you a side example here. Suppose you have, say, 5 plus 3 divided by 2. You should know this is 8 divided by 2. The answer is 4. But I'm going to do this like this. Can I write like this? This is 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2. So what is 5 over 2? That is 2.5. And what is 3 over 2? That is 1.5. And that is 4. That we already knew. 5 plus 3 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. But you can distribute this to the numerator. So let me go back. Okay, where are we? Want a thinner pen? Let me use a different color now. Okay. So what has happened now? So therefore, scrolling up a little. So dy by dx is equal to limit when h approaches 0. Okay, so what happens now? Can you understand this h and this h gets cancelled? Can I say this is 2x plus h? Now you have to use your logic. 2x, what? now this h is approaching 0. So we are saying this is almost 0. So if it is almost 0, dy by dx, this is 0. This is almost 0. This is approaching 0. So what is, what's remaining? And that's what we knew. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 2x. The same principle, you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. I'll do a few more examples in the next video. Thank you.